Best part! <laughs>we are actually just about to cook dinner and as you saw Josh is getting the meat ready and I am going to make some keto brownies to put in this keto ice cream that I'm gonna make so I'll show you guys that and then we are going to have a late night meeting yep always we generally have late night meetings that are not very normally during the day unless they're just between me and you yeah but so we're going to take you guys behind the scenes of what it really looks like to have a startup out of your remote team. Yeah, remote team and, you know, the early phases of building a company, really. So to make these brownies, you just need one thing of cream cheese. A hand mixer is helpful. You're going to use some cocoa, three packets of stevia, two eggs, and then a little bit of vanilla. So yeah, this is going to be keto brownies that I'm going to make and then I cut them up and then I put them into this ice cream that I make, which is coconut milk and cream cheese and then a little bit of stevia. And we use stevia because I don't like a lot of sugar, neither does Josh. Um, and I'm the one that mostly does keto. Joshy. Sauteing some veggies. <laughs> Josh's chicken from the grill. Then we got some fajita veggies. It's fluffy, warm, dense, delicious like a brownie should be. And as he does the dishes, I am going to make us our ice cream, which is cream cheese, coconut milk, some vanilla. So this is all smooth. So I have in there this, my coconut milk, and now I'm going to add some straw, or not strawberries, raspberries, you guys, into here. So here is the ice cream. You can see the little chunks of brownie. And now I'm going to put it in the freezer for about 45 minutes to an hour, and it should be good to go. Meeting time. Late night meetings, y'all. Not sure once we put contracts in, like I know there's some cool stuff we can do, John, we talked about. Um, I'm just not actually sure if we're talking about in terms of like product market fit, if we if that even gets us there. You know what I mean? Good morning everybody. 
So we did not finish the blog yesterday, so we're just gonna add on it today. Last night we ended with a meeting and Josh and I just went straight into work mode. So right now we're actually going into another meeting for content strategy that we are going to show you guys. Okay, so let's see. One of the reasons why we're getting into content now is we tried cold calling and it's not giving us exactly the results we want. So whenever you learn something, you just try something new and you keep adapting. So our first target is CFOs. you guys we just finished having lunch and now we are making coffee or Josh is I'm coming to harass him to see if it's done yet first you guys check out my sweet shirt Bears beats Battlestar Galactica let me know in the comments who or what this refers to question what kind of bear is best it's a ridiculous question. False. Black bear. Well, that's debatable. There are basically two schools of thought. Fact. Bears eat beets. Oh. Bears. Beets. Battlestar Galactica. You better know. <laughs> <laughs> also rocking my sweet MongoDB swag. If you guys want to go to MongoDB, check the link in the description. I will be there. Josh will be there. Some other really awesome developers will be there and want to hang out with you. So, come hang out with us in New York. Yep, it's gonna be fun. Super fun. Now we just need some coffee. Show them, did you show them caribou coffee? Oh yeah, you guys. This is caribou coffee. This is from North Dakota. It's a Midwestern brand, I guess. Yep. But there, there it is, you guys. Just peeing in my cup. So tonight, we are going to do a little rearranging of our office. Yeah. So we get caffeinated, a couple more hours of work, then we are going to do some remodeling. And then probably work some more and see how we like it. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. To switch it up a little bit. I'm excited too, it's always fun. We have the space to switch it up. We have an entire room that's just our office. So it'll be cool. Yeah, we're super excited. We'll show you guys how we do it and what we're thinking and why we're going to make the switch. It'll be easier for like filming for you guys and just yeah creating content easier yeah. instead of having to like maneuver because of the light from the window mm -hmm. to like be a certain way and this way hopefully will just play in our favor to make it easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this coffee tastes so stinking good. That is caribou coffee but with my special creamer. Yep. Secret creamer. Caribou is like, it's not as intense as like a Starbucks. Like they have a real, Starbucks has like a real bold kind of burnt flavor. We had some of this up north and it was just through daybreak. Yeah, daybreak. And we were like, oh my gosh, this is so good. We need to get more. And so we bought a big bag to bring home with us because there's no caribou coffees in Florida, or at least not that I know of. No, there isn't. It's like a Midwestern, yeah. West Western thing, I think. They're big. It's not like, um, you know, it's not like a mom and pop shop. They have a lot of locations, but primarily in the Midwest. So if you're in the Midwest and you know what caribou coffee is, delicious this is daybreak mm -hmm. it's there you can probably Lakers. order it online actually yeah, you can probably if order you want to try it it's really good yeah and then we also have our coffee over here in amsterdam yeah we have all the good stuff we, we get a bunch of different kinds from starbucks this was like an argentine and starbucks one we have caribou and then we have uh amsterdam you do kind of all of it yep variety. keeps it interesting if you are working from home and you have something like special or something that maybe like motivates you a little bit more, um, for us it's having different types of coffee and different flavors of coffee. Bleh. Since we don't actually always go to coffee shops to work, it's nice to have it here at the house. It is. And we love coffee, so. Yeah. We should think about getting on one of those coffee subscriptions. I know. Like the um, blue bottle ones. Do you guys do coffee subscriptions? I know Blue Bottle does. If you guys do it, let us know in the comments if you like it, if it's worth the money. What your favorite one is? Yes. Because there's so many different kinds. So true. So let us know since we love coffee and it's, I guess, a treat for us every single day that we make it. Yeah. And let us know what you guys like. 
Even if it's from a different country, just let us know. We'll try it. We love it. Oh. Do you want me to put a shirt on? No? You like me naked in the videos? <laughs> we gotta fill Clickbait. My You're my clickbait. Naked in the videos. So starts the process of office change slash reorganize and rearrange. Let's do this. This is our current setup. My desk, his desk, obviously there's not all the stuff on it, but here's the wall, here's his closet, the window where we get all the light, and then we have our whiteboards, and bookshelves, and then our little IKEA cubby things. So we are gonna start changing it, changing this up, you guys. And this makes it easy. Yeah, luckily these are in wheels. Yeah, super nice. Fun fact. If you ever are looking for office stuff or even home decor, furniture type stuff, check out going out of business sales. Yep. This is where we got our really nice chairs and also these IKEA things for our office. There was a company going out of business. We saw it, like a friend mentioned it. And we went over there and bought a bunch of stuff for super cheap. Super so. duper cheap. Here's the new office layout. My desk. We're gonna turn this into a reading area. Now we have Brandy's office back here. She's, welcome, welcome, you guys. She's kind of got like some shelves and stuff over there. Got all my motivational stuff over there to keep me inspired throughout my day. Let's check it out. Books. Powerpuff Mobcon. The magazines Brandy's been in, her degree, know your goals. <laughs> it's always something to keep in mind throughout the day. Yeah. For me, my previous company, my first company, books, some books, and then that beautiful woman that I married. All right, you guys, that's our blog. It was pretty much a mess. I don't really think we taught you anything new. Today. Besides <laughs> life. Life. Yeah, you Brandy need... makes amazing ice cream. Yeah, I make really good ice cream. That is a fact. Um, if you want the recipe, let me know in the comments and I'll send it to you. Yeah. Um, coffee is delicious. And if you work remote, find something that's like a treat for you. Like whatever it is. Yep. Ours is coffee and LaCroix. Those are kind of our two things. Yep. I mean, I could mention something real quick. The book, show them that, do a final like learning. If you're starting a SaaS company and you're selling B2B, check out this book. It's called Predictable Revenue by Aaron Ross. I think they they also have a podcast, which I've mentioned previously in these vlogs, which is a really good one. But the book... Um, it's good as well. Yep. I highly recommend you write. The podcast is amazing and the book if you're selling B2B. So that could be a learning tip. For and you. watch The Office. Yeah, watch The Office. If you don't know what this is, go watch... The, the, all the seasons of The Office and you'll know exactly what <laughs> Beats, Bears, and Battlestar Galactica <laughs> means. All right, you guys. Yeah. All right, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Mm -mm -mm. Um, subscribe to our channel below. Let us know in the comments if there's ever anything you want to touch on. Josh and I have a wide range of knowledge from uh, development programming to running businesses and it's to, still learning in that yeah, so we share learning. our learnings yep. with that. creating content building brands so pretty much hit us with whatever you want and we'll answer it oh and we're newlyweds so that's something we're still learning too <laughs> later guys